Hey guys, this is RMD Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the Deep Cool Castle 240mm AIO. It's a follow up to their previous lineup of AIOs, the L Captain series, and it does come with quite a few benefits. For example, you now have built in motherboard RGB lighting control, which I think is pretty cool. Speaking of things which are pretty cool, today's sponsor, Zero and Nine. They're an online retailer of games and software keys. I got some of the best prices available on their store, zeroin9.com such as Windows 10 for just £9.72 and Microsoft Office 2016 Professional Plus for £22.56 using our discount code. They also sell digital games and gift cards. The discount code RMD-M is a site-wide dis discount code which you can use to buy games and as far as I know their Minecraft Windows 10 edition is also a really good price. For more information please check the links in the video description. <laughs> And so we're going to start off by talking about something I probably, well, talk about a little bit too much, and that's RGB and the aesthetics of it. Now I'm going to start off with one of the biggest negative points of the design of this pump, and that is the size of the water, not the water block, but the size of the pump. It's incredibly large in comparison to other alternatives, such as that from Ends of XT or Corsair, or even that of the previous generation El Captain series from Deepcool. However, that's not to say that it's not a good design. It looks fantastic in my opinion, and I'd even go as far as to say that the RGB lighting looks better than NZXT's. I, pre I just prefer it as the full colour rather than just a little ring in the middle. And to me that looks a lot better. Now, talking of the RGB, you do have 16.7 million colours available to you through the addressable RGB lighting. However, if you don't have that capability with your motherboard, you can use their sort of included controller, which allows you to use up to 36 different lighting modes, which includes five modes as well as a variety of different colours. So the modes include sort of static, dynamic, comet, and a, and a couple of others. So you really do have a lot of variety when it comes to your RGB and your aesthetics, and it does look really good in your system. One other thing that I should mention is the mounting system. In my opinion, the mounting system for the Castle 240 is far superior to that of the El Captain. Not only does it look a lot better, like the El Captain was nowhere near as good. It had these horrible big metal bars which were sticking out either side of the pump. Now it looks a lot cleaner. But not only that, but it's just it just it's a lot easier to install. It's nowhere near as difficult and it's you just put it all into place and it's it's nice and secure. So I found that was really good and it's a massive improvement over the L Captain. One other thing which we're starting to see more and more manufacturers do is include support for TR4 sockets. So essentially that's the Ryzen Epic series of server grade CPUs and that's really quite nice because whilst most people won't be using a water cooler like this in a server setup lots of people use the Epic CPUs in their day-to-day -day workstations and having a AIO water cooler that looks as fantastic as this work with a TR4 system is just fantastic but obviously it also works with AM4, AM3 and loads of the Intel sockets going back miles and miles and miles, it's, it's fine, it's all on the box and they're on screen right now so if your socket type is listed on the screen at the moment then it supports it and you're good to go. But those aren't the only improvements over the L Captain series, the fans have also had an upgrade as well. They are now RGB and PWM controlled, so you have your full range of RGB colours as well as having PWM control so you can adjust the RPM as the system is functioning. And I think that's really useful because it means that when you get to those higher temperatures you can increase the speed of your fans to compensate for that and keep your system cool, with the small sacrifice of it being a little bit louder, but I think that's a lot better it's a lot, a lot better than having absolutely no control whatsoever, so that's a massive improvement. Um, not only that, but they also have these little sort of uh, vibration absorbing pads which sort of A reduce sound and B also increase the lifespan of the fans as well because it stops all the vibrations which can sort of damage your bearings over time. As part of our tests we had to test out the thermals and to do that we ran two different tests. One was a games test and one was a stress test. First of all we did the games test and that was GTA 5. For that I ran the game for about an hour's period and using hardware monitor we were able to monitor the minimum and maximum temperatures as well as the average temperatures and you can see all of the results of that on screen at the moment. 
My second test was IDA 64, and curiously enough, you'll find that the results during IDA 64 were actually we actually had lower sort of maximum temperatures, and the reason why that was was because it's a, in a closed system, so all the heat that was radiated by the GPU during the games test wasn't actually present when we were running the CPU stress test. So the radiator had to deal with a lot less heat from external sources and so it was much more efficient at cooling the CPU. However, with the maximum temperature and the average temperature that we did reach, it would indicate that we actually have a lot of headroom for overclocking because we actually see that the AIO has coped fantastically well with keeping the CPU cool under the stress test, reaching only a sort of maximum temperature of about 64 degrees Celsius. And I think that really sort of goes to show the amount of work that DeepCool has been doing, because that is a very good temperature result. So if you did enjoy that video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you have any feedback, comments or suggestions, make sure you do leave that in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to check out today's video sponsor, Zero and Nine Games. They have fantastic deals on all sorts of games and software, 100% of the time, all year round. So it's worth definitely checking them out and using my discount code, link in the video description.